Um, I'm going to be reading from uh, a book by uh, Antonio Scarmeta. He's a Chilean writer. Um, the title of the book is Burning Patience, and it was originally written in Spanish, obviously. And um, this book was a challenge in, um, as, as a required reading in freshman English class in Orono, Maine uh, High School because of the book's uh, sexual content. And this book was made into the movie uh, The Postman. I'm probably many of you saw it, Neil Postino. It was a very good movie, too. So I'm going to read um, the section in English first, and then a little section of uh, the text in Spanish, so you can get a, a sense of you know what it was like in the original version. In this pleasant decor, and after months of conscious effort, the postman, with the help of his sensitive Sonny, which was the uh, tape recorder that Pablo Neruda gave to the postman for his wedding, taped the following text transcribed here, just as Neruda heard them two weeks later in his office in Paris. Dear Don Pablo, thank you very much for the present and the letter, even though the letter all by itself would have been enough to make us all very happy. But the Sonny is very good and interesting and I'm using them to make up poems by saying them directly into the machine without even writing them down. Nothing great so far. It took me a while to do what you asked me because right now things are pretty tough around here in Isla Negra. They built a campsite for vacationing workers and I'm working in the kitchen of the tavern. Once a week, I ride my bicycle to San Antonio to pick up the tourist letters. Everyone is doing well and is happy, and I have some really exciting news to tell you, but you are, you are going to have to wait to hear it. I bet I made you real curious, huh? Just keep listening. Don't skip ahead to find out. And since I can't wait to tell you the good news, I won't, wa I'm, I won't waste any more of your time. I just wanted to tell you that life is full of surprises, don't you think? There you are complaining about how you are, are up to your ears in the snow, and I have never even seen a snowflake, it's except in the movies, of course. I would have loved to be in Paris, swimming in the snow, rolling myself around in it like a rotting flower. Anyway, to show you my appreciation for the letter and your gift, I have dedicated this poem to you, and also because it was inspired by your odes and its call I couldn't think of a short title, On to the Snow over Neruda in Paris. Soft comrade with secret of steps, abundant milk from the heavens, immaculate school smock, the bed sheets of silent travelers who drift from hotel to hotel, a wrinkled portrait in their pockets, light, multiple loan, wings of many doves, a scarf that says goodbye to who knows what. Please pale beauty fall gently upon Neruda in Paris. Dress him up in your white admiral suit and carry him in your small boat to this port where he's so much missed. And I will read just the poem in Spanish, just the last part of it. Blanda compañera de pasos sigilosos, abundante leche de los cielos, delantal inmaculado de mi escuela, sábana de viajeros silenciosos que van de pensión en pensión, con un retrato arrugado en los bolsillos, ligera y plural doncella, ala de mieles de palomas, pañuelo que se despide de no sé qué cosa. Por favor, mi pálida bella, cae amable sobre Neruda en París, vístelo de gala con tu albo traje de almirante y tráelo en tu leve fragata a este puerto donde lo echamos tanto de menos. Thank you.